Well, hello there, friends. Um, today, uh, as much as I hate to say it, I got to do an oil change on the TYM uh, 654. She's uh, due. It's actually 53 hours on the clock, so I'm a little bit over. No big deal. So I'm going to dump the oil and uh, put new oil in it. So I didn't film it, but I used a... Uh, strap wrench on the oil filter which is right there get that loose um, the oil fill port is buried in behind this cover that mesh cover um, i don't know if you can see it it's right there well you can see it better than i can so i got to go through with a telescopic funnel get in there the filter is loose i'll be dumping the oil two drain plugs on this bad boy one right there and one on the other side so there is another one where is it right there you can see it so there's two right so that's two spots we gotta dump the oil so I'll, I'll pick up the video when I get back when I get down underneath there there's my drain plan pan. I believe it's eight eight liters, but I'll look it up just to be sure. Um, but it's got to get done. And then way out yonder, you can see way back there, the Ferguson TO35. I got her stuck last night. I was clearing snow with it. We only had about uh, I don't know three four inches, so I thought rather than start this up, plus because the oil changes do. I would uh, just use that. And I did a pretty good job clearing everything out. But then I was cutting a path over there and got her stuck. So once we get the oil change done on this, we'll be using this bad boy to get the uh, to get the Ferguson unstuck. So there you go. Lots of fun. Uh, but anyway, that's the deal. Wintertime oil changes. You got to love them. Um, the GMCs do too. The terrain, I got to do that. So anyway, I'll pick up the video once we get some some action going on. Stand by. Oh, bitch. Hold on. Hold on, I gotta put the video down. There we go. That's the rig that we use. Strap wrench. I got her loose. You can see how tight it was because it did put an indentation in the filter. Yeah. It's running down onto the block. Oh, there we go. How's that for a good pick where to put it? The oil it barely has any color at all for a diesel. You'd be surprised how little color that is. Uh, that's because this is the first first view oil filter chain. This is the break in. <sighs> so I'll let that drain down before we get into there and tackle the drain plug. Yeah, it's running down everything. So. Um, I guess the design criteria of an engine is not where the oil flows when you're dumping it. So we got that anyway, when you're dumping the filter. So we'll get the new filter. There's the good stuff. That's what we're going to put in there for the Deutz, uh, diesel engine that's in this TYM 654 tractor. That's an approved oil. Uh, you know I'm an AMS oil fan. Uh, there's the Deutz filter. I'm pre lubing the, uh, the oil filter with uh, fresh clean oil. I see a lot of guys 
using used oil to wet the seal. That's fine, you can do what you want, but I just choose to use the brand new oil. So I pop the top off, stuck my finger in there, and away we go. Okay, now, is that foggy? Where's it me? Anyway, here's the drain plug. Look at this pan, guys. It's got, it's got like a channel that runs up the metal right up in here. So that's the, uh, that's the uh, why reason why you got two drain plugs, one on each side. Okay, I don't want to wear all kinds of oil. 17 mil on the drain plug. It came out really easy. It wasn't like hammered in there hard or nothing. So that was kind of nice. So I'm going to get the oil going. I got to free up ahead. I got snow dripping in my ear. I haven't had this much fun since I used to be an equipment mechanic way back in the day. Stand by. Well, that didn't go as planned. Holy Moses, check that out. I missed. <laughs> Hopefully the other side is better. Oh God, stand by for, I gotta clean up a mess. So we're over on the other side. I'm gonna crack out the other drain plug and get that oil flowing out of there and then we'll do the fill up. Um, yeah, it's going good so far. It's a little bit oil, but what the heck, who doesn't? And uh, yeah, it's all looking pretty good. I always do a visual when I'm working on the on any equipment. Make sure everything looks okay. I'll give her a hard visual or a hard uh, inspection uh, when warm weather comes, so I can crawl around a lot. But I'll tell you this, Jeeper Creepers. I got to thank Watch West Work. I saw this on his uh, on his, on his channel. And uh, it's made by Lyles. I got it off Amazon. Up in Canada, it was like 60-some bucks. But I'm telling you, it's great in the snow. You lie down on it, and it actually kind of like toboggans to where you need to be. So I can't complain. Uh, it's working fine. I don't got to get wet laying in the snow to do any uh, any winter work. And sometimes you got to. So uh, there's a product uh, endorsement. Uh, there, obviously, I'm endorsing the product only because it works and it and it does well. You guys will see that I, I do talk about a lot of products. And the only reason why I endorse the products is because they work for me. Especially the AMS oil. We had a lot, many years of racing. We never blew a motor. And I mean, uh, 280 degree water temperature. And I know you won't believe that, but you can do it in a race engine. And uh, no effect to the oil. Um, watch other teams just annihilate rear end gears. And we come out unscathed. So uh, I can't speak volumes. I can't speak enough for the product. And, and I don't care that they don't endorse me. I don't care that, uh, or I endorse whatever, that they're not paying me for endorsement. It's uh, when you spend this kind of money on a tractor, you want to put the best that you can into it. And that goes with my vehicles, um, anything. Snowmobile, trucks, old tractors, chainsaws, wood splitter, snow blowers. I put the best that I can get because equipment is expensive. And you have to, you have to, to, to always calculate that into your running costs is how much is it going to cost to replace it? Um, the only time I really don't endorse using a, a high quality top, top tier synthetic oil is if you got a leaker, if you got a dirty old leaker or something that's blowing smoke real hard and burning oil, forget it. Just buy, buy whatever's on sale. But if you got good equipment, keep your good equipment running longer. I guarantee you, you will not be dissatisfied with Amsoil products because I use all kinds of everything they got and I've never, never been dissatisfied yet. And uh, anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, I'm going to, that's all I'm going to say about products today. But the Lyle Jeepers Creepers, amazing. Great in the snow. Great outside. The Wedco drain pan, nah. That circle is not that big, so you will miss. So I'm kind of a fan of it. I love and hate the damn thing. I've had it for years and years and years. And uh, like I said, I either love or I hate it. Today I hate it because I made a mess with it. And uh, my big pan, um, I don't know where it went. 
lost somewhere for now. I got a big giant one, and those are the best. Big target. So anyway, I'm going to carry on with the oil change, and then we'll, we'll wrap up the video for the uh, TYM 654 oil change. First one. And uh, stand by, and we'll wrap this up. So I got the uh, oil drain plugs already. Oil was all drained out of it. Um, the six, the Deutz engine here takes eight and a half liters of oil. And, but like I said before, that, where that oil filler goes into, you can't get nothing in there. So I improvised here and I got a piece of, uh, fuel hose from back in the racing days that I always kept. And I made this rig up. So with this rig and then it's bungee corded on there, we should have no problems adding the oil. We'll see how this pours down. I imagine this oil is really cold. So it's going to, it's not doing too bad. It's not screaming down by any, any stretch of the imagination. But it'll do. So we'll run with this rig. We'll get all the uh, get all the oil in her, and then we'll do a start up and test for leaks. Yeah, that's going to take a bit of time. And there, look at that. So we're using SAE five W thirty CJ. CJ, CJ4, um, and that's the, uh, that's the recommended oil, uh, you can see there it says Deutz, so it has a Deutz 4, which is right on the bottom, I can't tell if this is focusing or not, because I don't have, uh, I don't have my eyes on, but anyway, there you go, so that's, uh, certified oil, um, that we're putting in there and there it is so that's what we're running so this is a uh, considerable this is a consi considerable investment um, this rig this setup is not cheap so that's why I'm using uh, high quality expensive oils I mean you know like I said, I don't, I'm not promoting this to try to get a sponsorship or money or anything else. I'm just sharing with you what I know works. I've got uh, over 30 years of being a mechanic and fixing stuff that, you know, wasn't properly maintained. So that's it in a nutshell. So there you go. That's the oil change. Um, well underway. And uh, we'll do a fire up and, and show you guys everything when it's done. So just, you know, there you go. Hope you're enjoying the video. Hit like, subscribe, ring the bell. So that's it, boys and girls. Friends, we got the oil in there. Eight and a half liters. There's a half liter here. And there's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight on there. So let's see what it says on the stick. Now, mind you, this oil is cold. The oil does expand, so let's just see. Got to grab the dipstick. There it is. Pull it out. Oh, perfect. Exactly perfect. All right, I'm happy with that. So it's verified eight and a half measured <coughs> liters of oil. Or eight and a half quarts. Pretty close, and it's right perfect on the stick. So there you go. There's the oil change. So we will do the... Uh, We'll do the startup and check everything. Let's go and see if we got any leaks. Oh, 
filter looks, or oil filter looks good. Now I can see no dripping from the drain pan. Or the drain plugs. There we go. We're gonna call her a success. Okay, thanks for uh, joining me in this video. That's a winter oil change on the uh, TYM T6 654 uh, tractor. And there you go. Uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. Please uh, like, subscribe, ring the bell, and see more content. Thank you, and goodbye.